Hi everyone, I'm back again and this is going to be the schwa video part 2. So remember, schwa is uh, nice and relaxed. So relax your mouth and let's get into today's class. Last class, we looked at the schwa, we looked at what it is, and we looked at how we make it with our mouth, and then we looked at a few different words, I think we looked at banana, computer, and police. So we saw how the schwa is used in those words, and then we also looked at how the schwa is always the unstressed syllable in words like postman and policeman. Today, we're going to expand on that, and we're going to look at it in sentences. So firstly, we're going to start off very simple. You've probably seen these two before, these two sentences. And we're going to start with these, see how the schwa is used, and then in the last part of the lesson, we'll look at some slightly more difficult and common sentences. Okay, let's start off with two sentences you're probably familiar with. The first one is a cup of tea. A cup of tea. We don't say it like that because it would be too difficult. It wouldn't be very fluent. Instead, instead of these words, we say a uh, cup, a uh, tea. They're just a schwa sound. They are instead of grammar words. Grammar words are here, it's an article, and this is a preposition. But instead of grammar words, because they're not so important, we just use a schwa. So we say a cup of tea. I'd like a cup of tea, please. Now notice, I don't say a cup, a tea, I say a ka, per, so the p adds on to the schwa, t, a ka, per, t. That's a very good tip for sounding more fluent. So let's look at the next one as well. We've got a piece of cake. Two grammar words again, and it's the same thing. A piece, a cake. And if we put it together, a piece of cake. Do you know what a piece of cake means? A piece of cake means that something's very easy. So that exam was a piece of cake. Ah, it's a piece of cake. It's a common expression meaning something's easy. So in the final part of this video, I want to look at some really common sentences and questions that we use in day-to-day -day conversation. Now, I've already prepared these sentences with the schwa in them. So let's look at sentence number one, and we'll say it fully. Let's go to the coffee shop. Let's go to the coffee shop. Now, if I say that quickly, it's quite hard to say because we're stressing everything. So this is where the schwa is important. Almost always, and you'll hear this from native speakers, to the becomes to the, to the. Let's go to the coffee shop. Let's go to the gym, to the bank, to the school. You almost can't catch to the when you listen to native speakers because it's unstressed with the schwa sound. Number two, you want a drink. Again, very difficult to say when you say it fully. So native speakers turn this into a y, uh. You is not stressed, and the reason is you is not actually the important thing. The important thing in this sentence is want drink. So we say you want a drink, or even some people make want a uh into wanna. You want a drink? Perhaps that sounds natural to you, so try to listen to natives ask that kind of question and yeah, you'll catch the schwa very often. You want a drink? Finally, this question here. Did you stay at the hotel? Naturally, did you stay at the hotel? Did you stay at the hotel? You becomes ye. Did you stay at the hotel? Did you stay at the hotel? This is a, another common situation here with at the becomes at the, at the, to the, at the. And then as we saw before, we saw for becomes for, for the. So these kind of 
grammar combination, these words, often become a schwa sound to make it easier to speak. Now, it's great to have me here to explain these sentences to you, but I understand that when you study by yourself, it's quite difficult to find the schwa and, and know how to use that schwa in a sentence. A lot of my students say to me, oh, Jack, okay, I understand what the schwa is and I understand these sentences, but how can I find it? And I understand it's very difficult to be able to practice that. But what I recommend to you is to get a script of a drama, just a typical drama like Modern Family, Friends or Sherlock like I teach. Get the script, get the drama and then compare. So, for example, you'll listen to one of the actors say, do you want to get a coffee? Do you want to get a coffee? So you hear that and you see it on the script and it says, do you want to get a coffee? So you compare and try to catch, okay, where's the schwa? Like, which words are difficult to, to hear when they say it? So do you want to get a coffee? Ah, get a, uh, there's a schwa there. So try to find the schwa from the drama looking at the script and then using that shadow. Shadowing is where you listen to the, the actor or actress and you copy them as closely as you can. So find the schwa in the script or the schwas in a script and then shadow. Once you understand what the schwa is, that's the most important thing because from then on you'll be able to catch it when natives use it. You'll be able to catch it and you'll understand and slowly you'll start to be able to use it in your speaking as well. So, good luck. I know it's not easy. Please leave any questions or comments you have below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Have a great week and see you soon.